Vernica's encephalopathy the hidden brain disorder you need to know about. Have you ever heard of Vernica's encephalopathy? It's a condition caused by a deficiency of vitamin B1, also known as thiamine. Its symptoms are diverse, making early detection and proper treatment incredibly important. Today, we're going to explore what could be called a modern-day malady, drawing from the latest scientific research. Vernica's encephalopathy is a neurological disorder first reported in 1881 by Dr. Carl Vernica. It was originally characterized by a trio of signs, changes in mental state, eye-related symptoms, and a loss of coordination. Traditionally, this condition and its chronic stage, Korsakoff syndrome, have been strongly associated with chronic alcoholism, which often involves malnutrition and problems with thiamine absorption. However, recent studies have made it clear that Wernicke's encephalopathy can also occur in people who do not consume alcohol. An analysis of 88 cases of non-alcoholic Wernicke's encephalopathy in children reported over the last 30 years found that malnutrition often resulting from cancer or gastrointestinal diseases, was a leading cause. This indicates that various factors can trigger a thiamine deficiency. These can include treatments for serious illnesses, shifts in diet, eating disorders related to mental health, and even the effects of rare genetic mutations. Additionally, nausea and vomiting were frequently seen as early, preceding symptoms. This is consistent with previous research in adults and may be a key early warning sign of thiamine deficiency. Historically in Japan, a disease known as beriberi was widespread. This was caused by a dietary change from brown rice to polished white rice, leading to a thiamine shortage that caused nerve damage and heart problems for many people. Thiamine is an essential nutrient for energy metabolism. If you consume a lot of carbohydrates, your body uses a large amount of thiamine to process them, which can lead to a deficiency. Even with the abundance of food available today, symptoms of thiamine deficiency can still appear. This is often due to an increased intake of processed foods, imbalanced diets, or treatments for certain diseases. In this light, Wernicke's encephalopathy is truly a malady of our modern times. Thiamine is a water-soluble vitamin, which means it is not easily stored in the body. Therefore, getting enough of it through your meals at regular intervals is crucial. Be sure to actively include foods rich in vitamin B1 in your diet, such as brown rice, pork, beans, and nuts. You should also avoid the excessive consumption of processed foods and sugary drinks, as they tend to use up your body's thiamine. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to our channel. For those who want to learn more, please see the Robustness newsletter on Substack.